guys, I'm Kelsey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I provide videos on health and wellness and positive mindset so that you can create the life that you dream of starting today. Okay, in today's video, we're going to talk about spot reduction or losing fat or a certain amount of size in a particular area on your body. This is something that I see a lot on a lot of forum boards, I get a lot of questions about, and I just want to try to provide some education for you guys on this topic. One thing that you see, you see a lot of people touting products that could reduce the fat in a particular area or make it less visible depending on what it is. And one thing I want to just clear up right now with that thing said, there's nothing that you can do to reduce the fat or cellulite in a particular area. Now there are things that you can do to make its appearance less visible, but uh, you know, doing all the reps you can in a particular area is not going to help you reduce the fat in that particular area. Okay, so you're not going to get six pack abs by just doing ab workout. It takes so much more than that. Some things I just want to make very clear is that when you are wanting to show muscle in an area, then you need to start by being in a caloric deficit so, in, so you can start losing fat as a whole. Now, where you start losing fat from is going to be determined by your genetics and your hormone profile. So for example, I lose my fat from, from top bottom in a route. Um, some people will lose it from their legs up and they'll lose it uh, from their like bellies or things last. It just depends. Um, everybody's just different. Everybody's genetics is different. Something else that plays a big factor in your fat loss is the amount of stress that you have in your life. If you are super stressed out and you're trying to maintenance, your body's going to go into a survival mode because our bodies used to be stressed in earlier times when we were trying to survive. So your body's going, is acting like it's it's, try, it's going to die. So it's going to try to hang on to everything it can because it doesn't know if it's gonna go into famine or anything else. So you have to work on controlling your stress, which is why it's so important to work on improving your mindset from the day, from day one. Because if you cannot improve your mindset and work to control your stress, you may be doing all the other factors right, but if you can't control your stress, your body's not ever gonna be in that uh, kind of happier space where it can actually lose fat, okay? Something else that I really want to emphasize is that you actually can lose fat in those areas, but you're going to lose it in layers. Um, Show Lee Fit did a picture of paper towels that you just have to be consistent, and over time you'll actually start to see the uh, the progress that you've made. It's it's very different, you know. You 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 move a paper towel, you know, once a day. And it doesn't seem like you're making far, but all of a sudden you're at the end of the paper towel roll. So it works the same way when you're you're doing a fat progress, fat loss stage. Okay. Something else I want to tell is that if if you want to make an area more prominent, then you need to work on improving that area, whether by doing more hypertrophy work, which is where you can gain size, or you try to make that muscle more dense um, by strength and some size. So if you were want, really wanting your abs to be um, more prominent, then you should be doing ab work to make sure that size is there and also be in a caloric deficit, which is where you're eating um, less calories than your body needs to maintain at its current level. Um, so I don't mean to break anybody's heart or anything like that about um, not being able to lose fat from a particular area. I want to be honest and I want you to understand how that works because it's just as frustrating for me just like it is for anybody else, okay? So, some things you can do to improve your fat loss no matter where you are in the game is one, is be consistent with your diet and training, okay? I mean, you no matter what supplement you take in the world, it's not going to help you lose fat. And if you are taking something and you're losing fat, it's most likely drugs. So please be very careful about what you put in your body. Focus on consistency with your training and nutrition. Those are going to be some of the biggest factors. And nutrition over training, okay? If your nutrition is not in a good spot, you're not going to be in a caloric deficit or making progress towards your goals. Um, so find ways to make that more consistent on a daily basis, 
basis and the weekend so that way you can work toward those goals okay work to improve those areas that you want to become more prominent so that way as you enhance your body and you make progress those areas are going to become more prominent as you start to lose fat okay and then focus on your stress level find a way to create a positive mindset find a way to manage your stress and you'll get there in the long haul okay so start from the inside and it'll come its way out okay i love you guys i'll see you guys in the next video if you have any questions or you want me to expand upon anything that i talked about today please leave them in the comments below and i will catch you guys in the next video bye